Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Resident Evil Remake HD. Now we're going to go look at the Super Spooky Mansion. The Haunted Super Spooky Mansion. Oh, the Haunted Super Spooky Cabin, because we just left the Haunted Super Spooky Mansion. Yeah, where nothing bad ever happens ever to anyone. <laughs> I look a map. There's a map of the courtyard, we take it, yes. Good thing there's a typewriter and item box in here! Because I have a thing I need. Yes. Uh, itchy nose. Okay. Mmm, put all this away. <laughs> I can have so much by the end. <laughs> oh my dear. Oh my days. Might as well take that though. And what is over here but... THE CRANK! The most important item in Resident Evil history. It is, in fact, the true protagonist of the entire franchise. The Crank. Uh oh Well... Shit. BONK! Also, concussion much? Or dislocation of the head? And Lisa would have had to drag him down there. Like, drag him down the stairs. But no, she's actually just gonna be like, sup, nerd. And she tries to kill you here. Even though... Yeah. Even though... Okay, that's just rude. She, she tries to kill, kill you here. Even though she was just all... I'm going to knock you out and then take you and put you in front of the fire to keep warm. Oh wait, I'm going to kill you instead. My rabbits are weird. Hold on. You guys have pets? Kinda weird. I just put them back in their cage because they're trying to get into something and I knew that if I left them al alone they keep trying to get into it. So they can come back out later. Also, hi. See you later, nerd. <laughs> I thought about killing him. I thought about it. I decided against it. He can live. I'll call him Timothy. Because I have a friend named Timothy. And he's cool people. So his name gets to be Timothy. So I brought the wing crest. Goes in here, I believe. Okay, what? Is it going here? Okay, there we go. Hey! Look, this is the three! Because puzzles! Mooncrest? Okay, could you not? I'm busy. Take the star crest. Because puzzles. <laughs> what? Lines across the horizontal lines could be some kind of symbol. And if you examine these guys. Oh, look! There's a button. Will you press it? Hey! And, no, no, and this one, it, I mean, there we go. Nope, don't exit the thing. Scarlet, stop being dumb. This one's got a cross! And you gotta put the line where the lines are, and the cross where the cross is, blah, 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 blah. Except the game just, just does it for you. It doesn't even go that far. You just have to know to push the button. Oh, I'm on caution. <laughs> Oops. And what is here? Magna! It's the ultimate weapon in the game. Doop -a doop Oh, right. I rem Could you not? I'm busy. So... Early on in the Let's Play, I mentioned that I have a replica of the Samurai Edge, which is the pistol that is used, or the handgun that is used by most of the Resident Evil characters, especially in the earlier games like this one. It's this gun. I have this gun. 
Except it's not, it's an airsoft gun. Just hold on. I wasn't kidding. I do in fact have a replica of the Samurai Edge. See? Yes, it has the, this is an actual real gun tip. But I can actually take that off. Take this part off, I should say. This makes it so you can't accidentally hit somebody with the airsoft gun or bullets because this is an airsoft gun. Yes, it's darker and less silvery than that one is. But yeah, it pops back. I'm not gonna try firing it because I have pets in the room. It's got the safety on it. it. Doesn't have the magazine in because the magazine is right here. Actually, it has a lot of weight to it, and it's made of plastic and metal and all kinds of fun stuff. But yeah, this is my airsoft. And it's the Samurai Edge. You guys can see the STARS logo. Raccoon City Police Department, STARS. So that is my proof. Uh, people said that they wanted to see it in comments, so here it is. So onwards to adventure. We have our friend the Crank. And you guys got to see my replica of the Samurai Edge. So just to repeat, it is not a real gun. It's not. It's an airsoft. It's a pellet gun. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. I'm American. I'm not that American. Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. This is Chris. Maybe if you weren't such a coward, Brad. Damn. Thing's broken. Chicken heart. Brad, chicken heart, Vickers. Oh, hey, look, puppies. Oh, hey, look. Herby. Oh, hey, look. Purpy. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. That would be very rude if you hit me. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, that's just rude. I don't think I can go the other direction just yet. I think. But I have the crank. Hey, crank. crank! Crank, 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 crank. Crank, it, crank, it, crank, it, crank, it, crank, it. It's the real uh, hero of Resident Evil. Sometimes my brain works really slow, and sometimes it works really fast. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember the word for something, That this time that being hero. And other times, I talk way too fast for anybody to ever understand me, ever. I hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Oh no! Yeah, you never come across that waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Nobody watching this video is gonna get that, but. Snakes? Snakes? No snakes yet. Snakes are late here. But for now, we go deep down into the damp, damp dank, dark abyss. Wonderful. Hey, Grow! Oh, hey, waterfall. I said don't go chase me. But I'm Tish. Okay. Can't do much here. Balls. So we need a battery. In order to go down there. And I think I get the battery. I think I get it in this area, or I get in the man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Snakes! Snakes! It's rain and snakes. Hallelujah, it's rain and snakes. No, I don't get to have a snake in real life. One of these days. I really want to get a black Mexican king snake. They're my favorite. My favorite kind of sneaky snake. So yeah. I wonder if there's going to be any, um, poison creatures here. Hmm? 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 By the way, this is the greenhouse. And if I remember correctly, 
this room in here is safe room. Hey, oh, hey, look, first safe room. There's an ink ribbon I can't pick up. And another flash grenade, because I think there are two of them. I think. Hey, kerosene! Because I'm going to use that. Not much. I don't think I need the crank for anything right now. Is there something else flashing down there? No. Cool, let's pick up this first aid spray because I didn't pick up the one leading into the mansion. Mostly because I don't really need to. You can pick that one up, but you're headed back into the mansion for a little bit later anyway, so you might as well just leave that one. Since I didn't have any inventory space. It's an old typewriter. Nope. So another first aid spray to add to my first aid spray collection. <laughs> Can't be thinking I'm good at this game because I'm technically playing it on easy even though I'm meant to play it on normal. Whatever. Okay, so... Onwards! At least I got to save it. Because I hadn't actually saved in a hot minute. <laughs> And it would be bad not to save, because then I lose footage and bad things happen. Hey, no, 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 mm, yes, there we go. So I think... Yeah, I think the one that I want to plug... ...is this one. I think. I can't remember which one it is. But there's one you want to plug. <laughs> okay, so I can go th through either of those doors. Excellent. He knows. As long as I don't start getting hit by tentacles! Vamble? 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 No Zamble. There's a map of the residence. Do you take it? Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's the room with Plant 42. Mm. Listen, there's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive! Oh, I shouldn't have clicked the second time! Oops! <laughs> oh, tits. Run! <laughs> Run away from the spoops! Anything in here? Oh, balls! Is he dead? Nope! Now he is. <laughs> well, he's gonna turn to a crimson head if I don't set his ass on fire. Guess I know what I've gotta do. Plant 42 reports. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at, at Point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus had has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has dra drastically mo morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found out that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of, plant, of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We're sure that it, it, that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like veins to capture its prey. If doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. 
Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant burning, too. When they heard, when we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform, petal-like flaps open and reveal its inner internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that if it was trying, that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way is still unknown. Dun dun dun! So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with some Plant 42 bull crud. Might as well look through the door that the zombie came out of. Because there's probably something in here I can use. Hey, a key! <laughs> Four zero zero one. Okay, don't turn into a crimson head, please. Wait, what? Oh, the zombie's still there. Okay, I was gonna say, wait a minute. Uh ha. -huh. <laughs> a place! Uh, I think? Okay, I still need to go up that way. That might be room 201. So I can get the kerosene while I'm gone. Cool. Because I don't want that thing to turn into a crimson head. There's nothing worse than crimson heads in the residence area. Because everything's very small. You know, and... And stuff. Reads the gallery. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Like, I said leave me alone! <laughs> like, no, we want to give you our stinging love! My roommate loves bees. I think they're cool too. But my roommate actually loves bees. They're straight up loves them. And I'm like, well, shnipes. Ah, oh, criminy crisis. So, yeah, that was the wrong one. Great. Okay, I can fix this. Alright, I fixed the thing. Yeah, I fixed this, so now we can get through there without getting hit by tentacles. You just came for room 01. Why does he even ask you if you want to discard it? Just toss it. Because if you say no, it just clogs up your inventory and your item box for the rest of the game. Oh. <gasps> okay! <laughs> He's obviously going to drop down on my face because he looks like a zombie. It's full of dirty water pillow plug, yes. Zombie. 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 Oh, tits. <laughs> I was hoping there was something by the bathtub. I couldn't remember if there was or not. But I got the control room key, which is what's important, really. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, Builets. I wonder why. Hey, it's up to front scan. Didn't I? I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started showing, to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Dude, there's so many ways to escape, like, what? <laughs> Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I may leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hey, like Zomble. You know, I thought it would have dropped. But it didn't. The self-defense gun is going to be immensely useful later. Because I think you can much, much easy more easily take out Plant 42 with it than without it. But for now, we can put it away. 
Do I have any other keys? Mm, nope, just that. Okay. So that's actually going to be it for this video, too, you guys. Because it seems like a good place to end it. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing Resident Evil Remake Scenario. I'll see you all in the next video.